Tuesday. Uh, got a lot of good work in today. Beautiful weather. Thank the good Lord for that. And uh, man, just, you know, inspired by our kids, man. They just have so much energy and juice. They're doing things right consistently. And, uh, you know, it's a credit to our program and how we built it because we're not going to ever grow tired of doing doing good. You know what I mean? And we're going to we're gonna reap a harvest in this program. We're going to. You know, we've already reaped some this year, and we're going to keep building and keep recruiting and keep growing these young men. And uh, just just awesome practice today, awesome energy and juice. Really, really took a step in the right direction. Proud of our players. And uh, we've got a great challenge this week. We know that versus, you know, the, the top dog of this league. Uh, for several years, and uh, they've got a great, great program. And we're going to go over there and try to put our best foot forward and represent this program the right way and, and take a step in the right direction for this program. With that, I'll open it up. Well, Coach, uh, just the opportunity you have this weekend, you know, it feels like this year you guys have sort of relished being the underdog. I, I wonder how much you feel that this week that these guys are looking forward to the chance to go over there and, and, and kind of have a chip on their shoulder yeah, you know, we do. We, we know we're the underdog. We're the underdog most weeks because uh, we're building the program back, right? You know, we haven't been so great here over the last few years, and uh, we're a lot better than what we have been. We're building. We're getting better. And uh, we've got a chance to go over there and do something special. But, look, this is a great football team we're playing that knows how to win. It's going to be senior day. Uh, so it is a great opportunity. It's another opportunity to get better. It's another opportunity to grow in this program, and that's what we're focused on right now is just taking every day, taking advantage of every day to continue to build and push this program forward. Coach, it's been reported that their quarterback, McCall, has been day-to-day. -day. Does that affect preparation in any way? Uh, no, because we've seen the other guy they play with, you know, and he's a really good player too. They're going to run their offense regardless. Obviously, McCall's a great, great player. He's a proven player. But, the, you know, their other quarterback played, you know, last week versus App State and played really well. So uh, we know Coach Chadwell and what they're going to do offensively. They've got a great system. And so we're preparing for, for Coastal's offense regardless of who plays quarterback. I just was reading up. I think you and Coach Chadwell maybe crossed paths once uh, back when he was at Delta State. I wonder just what you think of uh, – what he's been able to do there, obviously, at Coastal and, and what he's built. Yeah. You know, he, he got there as the offensive coordinator and uh, put his offensive system in and did a great job and then was promoted to head coach, and they've, they've taken off from there. You know, he does a good job offensively. It's a unique system. And I've always had a lot of respect for him. We have. We've played before back in the good old D2 days. And I always root for small college guys that worked their way up. Uh, so I got a lot of respect for him. And, uh and that they do a great job. Can you touch on the situation at running back this week? For us? Yes. Yeah, so, uh, you know, we got Frank, and uh, I don't think Gennari will play again this week. It could be a game-time decision. Uh, we'll play Kenyon Clay again. Uh, you know, Rambo's back there. Chandler Pittman's back there. Those will be the, the four that will play the most this week. And, uh, and uh, we feel good about our backs. You know, we think they're playing at a high level, and uh, we want to continue to uh, – to, to use them appropriately. Is it a situation for y'all where y'all still like the red shirt, Kenyon? Uh, you know, this will be game number three for him. Okay, so so we're going to manage that as the as the year goes on and see. We're not going to burn a year on him uh, just for no reason. Uh, so uh, you know, we're still managing that a, as we go, and uh, would like to red shirt him if we can. He is a really good player. He's going to be a great player, and I just don't believe in. Uh, I don't believe in being selfish and wasting a young man's future opportunities over the good of me, you know, for maybe, you know, one game. So uh, we're managing that and seeing how we go. A lot plays into how many games we got left, you know, total, and uh, and we'll go from there. You guys know who you're going to start at QB or you? Yeah, but I'm not going to tell you. <laughs> I'm sorry. Just that's that'd be a disadvantage for our program to tell you. Yeah. Everybody good?